Virgo, hello. Welcome back to Cheeky Spiritual Guide. This is a bonus love reading for you all. Um, yeah, I've been, I've, I've felt led to do this um, considering the new year 2020, okay, is here. And a lot of us are wanting to leave behind old baggage, stagnant, unsuccessful relationships and or just people we're involved with romantically, right? We want to leave them behind. Or we just kind of want to know, hey, moving into 2020, what what can I expect in love? What can I expect from the person that I'm with? Like what's happening? What's going to happen between us? And so we're going to dig a little bit mm -hmm, all up in your person, see what's all up in them, in their heart, their mind, you know, like how they view love with you, their intentions, their fears, um, their plan of action, the potential outcome, and I have advice for you, Virgo. Don't forget, the roles can reverse. They can flip-flop, go back and forth. Just please take it how it resonates. I don't want to repeat over and over again that the roles can reverse. However, I am going to read it as if I am talking to you, Virgo, but it could be for your cross-watcher. Um, yeah, okay. Uh, Virgo, I've already pulled your cards. I studied them. And whoa, this reading, <laughs> wow, it had me on a little bit of a roller coaster because I'm like, what the heck? All right, it, it didn't start off positive, but it ends up positive. So just a little heads up, okay? Virgo, okay, you could be dealing with the Leo, okay? And this person, you made a, a love connection with them. Um, you probably work well with them. Um, definitely, definitely there's a connection. However, this person is trying to find a way to detach from you, I think. I mean, I have the Queen of Wands here. Um, but unless they're trying to detach from another person, it just didn't make sense for the reading. Um, I read it like that at first, but then as I kept going, I said, no, that queen of wands is Virgo. They're, they're trying to like pull away from you, right? They're trying to pull away from you because of what, I don't know what, what the reason is. And they're just trying to be fair, right? But I think they're trying to be cordial and fair because they feel obligated to like the pressure to be this way it's kind of like I'm nice because I'm supposed to be nice not so much that I want to be nice which was like wait what look listen 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 this person they their emotion they block their emotions okay it's like they're avoiding like even though they made a connection with you, for whatever reason, they're avoiding anything more than that. Like, they hope to be able to just avoid any type of love connection. And I said, wait, hold up. What? What do you mean? So, uh, I got the Hermit card. That is a Virgo card. I feel like that's you. You got wind of this. You were like, wait, nah, -uh, this is not what I thought it was going to be. This is very dramatic. This is toxic. This just feels unhealthy. Because um, the devil card is here. And I think you walked away. I think you walked away. I have the six of swords. And you're like, I'm about to go and start a new path. I'm about to go do my own thing. Maybe with a, th a third party person. Or this is you just going out with your friends, having fun, getting together with people that you love or, you know, you care about. But you're like, I'm not dealing with this person because they were on some BS. I'm, I'm Man, they were on some BS. I was mad at them this whole entire reading, okay? Um, because when I got their intention, they got the Four of Cups. That's just kind of like a stubborn, selfish card this person they lack like passion they have no enthusiasm they don't take any initiative 
for anything. And their intention is they're just not changing. It's almost like they're in this slump, right? They're in the funk. Like, I can almost feel like they're depressed, okay? And I think they know that they're depressed, which is why they were trying to pull away from you. Um, yeah, so when I pulled their fear, though, their fear was like the Ace of Cups. And I'm like, okay, all right, don't feel some kind of way. Let's just see what happens when you clarify it. But when I clarified, I just got that this person... They fear any type of romantic love situation, like growing and advancing. And so they are blocking. They're blocking that. They, they're not trying to make that happen. Okay? Like, they, they even imagine, like, walking away. They picture themselves walking away. You know, they, they do hold back. And I, I know you felt all of this resistance from them. All of this being with, withdrawn. Okay? I know you felt it. That's why you were like, listen, I'm out. Um, and it's like, they're not trying to grow or evolve or change because I have the four of pentacles with the king of cups. It's like, are they withdrawing, withholding from being confident and successful? Are they afraid to be great? Are they afraid to be, you know, um, somebody awesome and wonderful and powerful? Wow. So, <laughs> so, you know, I'm just, I'm kind of like at a loss for words. All right. So I have the queen of cups here. This was their plan of action. Okay. I got a little happy because I was like, okay, that's the queen of cups. Until I start clarifying that clarification, man, I swear. <laughs> the clarifications. It, it changes the game, you guys. The queen of cups. I, I, the queen of cups. She's motherly and gentle and happy but she's also very passive and she could be pretty distant you know she doesn't like confrontation she doesn't really stand up for herself you know these are this other side of the queen of cups and so I, that's this part what this person is doing they're just going to be distant and 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 um passive okay like, there's feelings there. The Queen of Cups has feelings. She's very similar to the King of Cups. <clears throat> there's feelings there, but they don't really speak on it. Okay? But I, this person um, has the Moon card with the Nine of Pentacles. I think they're afraid of you. As the Nine of Pentacles, that is somebody who is popping male or female. That is someone who has abundance and luxury and material comforts they may be intimidated by you or feel like they don't measure up that's what I got with that and that is a fear of theirs and so maybe you guys you guys kind of just met and as they got to know you they were just like wait no hold up Virgo is too wonderful Virgo is too abundant and I you know I'm all like whatever I didn't honestly I didn't even get any court cards for this person the only way I'm able to identify them is because I, I think that they're a Leo I think they're a Leo um because I have th I have the sun card I feel that identifies them as well as the strength card um that's the only reason why I know you're possibly dealing with a fire sign but I have no court cards whatsoever they're not coming off as a king or queen or a knight or a page nothing all right so again this person i think you're just too good for them and they know it and you are and you acted accordingly um so the potential outcome virgo is the seven of cups Okay, I was like, okay, all that was some bull. I was just like, what the heck? That was a lot. That that person, I, I, they just, they feel kind of draining. Like, my energy feels pretty drained. But 
your potential outcome is all that, okay? Um, I got the Seven of Pentacles, which is a very fruitful, abundant card, okay? I feel like this person, they may have had some ulterior motive. Like, they abused, they took advantage of your connection. I don't know what the heck they wanted, what they thought they were going to get. But um, uh, Earth signs don't play that. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> we don't. I'm a, I'm a Taurus, so we do not play that. Um, I, yeah, they, they just tried to, I don't know what they, what, 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 what their deal was, but something here is better than you expect it to be. I have the, okay. I have the knight of wands, right? To me, that, that's a, that's a knight that really goes after something very passionate. And when it shows up, and a part as a part of the outcome that's something very um that's a very positive card which means there's something happening that you didn't expect like something great but i think your job okay your job is to work on the five of cups that is um i think you're going to work on it this is an outcome potential outcome i think you are going to work on this this kind of feeling some kind of way about the past situation or the situation that just happened, um, feeling some kind of way, you know, you might just be, you know, some lingering feelings about it. Cause homeboy or homegirl, did you kind of messed up? Like, I don't, I don't, I don't know. I don't want to keep talking about them. I want to talk about you Virgo. Okay. And I feel like when you're doing that, look, I got the 10 of cups with the ace of cups what like when those cards popped out i almost bust something i had a lot of surprises throughout this whole reading like it just didn't go the direction i thought it was gonna go um which is like so dope you know what i'm saying because i think you're on the right path you're not staying in toxic situations keeping your energy filled clear of drama and negativity um so that you can draw in and attract these ten of cups ace of cups moments ten of cups is the ultimate happiness you know what i'm saying this is um joy this is peace this is like all of all of that stuff bliss and with the ace of cups this could just be a new beginning in love you can meet somebody this is your emotional fulfillment definitely i definitely feel like you will have a new opportunity in love after dealing with this person, these shenanigans. So your advice, my darlings, you got the 10 of wands as, as advice. Woo. Okay. 10 of wands. This is really telling you, um, it's time to just persevere. Even if you're feeling like something feels a little heavy, you know what I'm saying? Maybe what you went through with this person, um, cause I don't get to see everything you went through. I just see that you went through something. Okay. I don't even see how long you've been together or you were dating. Um, but for this to come out, I would imagine that this person really put you in a position to where you, you had to walk away to where you just like, listen, I, I can no longer be in this situation. So your advice is to just keep pushing through. I think you, I think you're on the right path especially according to your potential outcome. Hello. I think you're on the right path. Um, if you, even if you feel like, you know, you want to lean on your friends, um, you know, I mean, I do see you have the three of cups there just, just to kind of get your head out of this situation. Maybe you just need to recoup, recover. It's like, look, homeboy, homegirl put me through a lot. So, um, you don't have to do this by yourself. I, I have a feeling you have good people who will have your back. Um, so you don't have to do this by yourself. But I think you have something wonderful happening. I'm excited. I love your reading. It drew, it, I was going a little crazy at first. But the potential outcome. Sometimes these hard situations only bless us in the end. Virgo, congratulations on an excellent reading. Okay, I wish you the best. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and give this video a thumbs up.
if you're feeling it. And um, yeah, I will see you guys next time. Deuces.